Against Army, we're going to have to be ready to come out and compete right away and work uh, really hard. They, they, they don't give you a lot of space. They thrive off turnover, so we're going to have to do a good job of managing the puck coming through the neutral zone, get the puck in deep. We're going to have to spend some time in the offensive zone. Um, and we have to get to Parker Gahagan, who's probably the best goalie in the league. We haven't, in the early games that we've played, we haven't done that with the consistency. We've turned some pucks over. We haven't played enough in the offensive zone, so that's going to be really key. But more than anything, we're going to have to go to the battle and compete and work for every ounce of ice that we can get. And if we can match their battle level, if we can match their compete level and do the things that I described, we sh it should give us the best opportunity to have success. So a big thing that we've been talking about in the second half is, is mental toughness. And mental toughness a lot of times is associated with dealing with adversity or dealing with failure. But there's also the other part of mental toughness, which is actually dealing with success. And we've really pushed hard um, this semester to try to get our team to win back-to-back -back games. And sometimes when you play really well on a Friday night, coming back with an even greater effort on Saturday because you know that the other team is going to be motivated to win. And we've been able to sweep a couple of weekends after winning on a Friday night, but it's something that you're going to have to do in the playoffs. If you're going to win a best two out of three, you're going to have to win two games. So trying to develop that resiliency, trying to develop that hunger and that drive to do it again is something that we've talked a lot about and we've been able to kind of see it through a couple weekends ago. But that's going to be really big as we enter the last two weeks of the regular season and then we into the playoffs is playing at a certain level, playing with that consistency, but then if we do have success, being hungry to do it again, and, and hopefully this weekend's another test for us to see what we're made of. So first star of the week is uh, my friend Jim Roble. Uh, Jim is one of those guys, he's our sports information director, but he's one of those guys that's clearly entrenched behind the scenes. Um, he is integral to our program. He's probably the most passionate uh, Holy Cross hockey person that I've ever met. Um, he loves the game, he loves being around our team, and he does an incredible job with press releases and news about our team and getting it out to the public, whether it's through the website or social media. And he's really been integral to us building our brand in our program since I arrived here. So Friday nights are our last regular season home game. Uh, hard to believe it's, it's going by that quick, but it's, it's, uh, it's a big game for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's senior night. We'll be honoring our three seniors and they've all made significant contributions to our program. They've had a huge impact on the things that we do here and the culture that we've built. Um, but it's also a, a key matchup in, in the, as far as the standings are concerned. Army currently sits two points ahead of us. We're fighting for a first round bye. We're fighting for home ice in the second round of the playoffs. And they're right there. We're right there with them. So it's going to be important that we have great student support, great local hockey fan support. We get youth hockey in here and we make the Heart Center electric and hopefully be a key to us winning on Friday night.